for our video, uh, we did uh, the fizzy drinking scene from the 1971 film Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, the scene basically shows um, Charlie and his grandpa Joe um, taking a fizzy drinking concoction, which they weren't supposed to drink, taking get, drinking it and flying up into the air. Um, they got a little bit too high up in the air, they started to panic, and Grandpa Joe burped. Well, the burping took him down a couple of meters. They kept on burping until they went and hit to the ground. Uh, we both agree that this would never happen in real life because for the fact that everybody would be doing it and that would be probably chaos, chaos but it would have to be like that. So for the calculation, we needed density equals mass over volume. So however, we needed to solve for volume, so we need to rearrange algebraically to volume equals mass over density. Now for Grandpa Joe in the scene, we took the average height of the a we took the height of the actor and the average weight of some of that height and reduced it a bit since they were poor. We would assume that it would be, be a bit wider. Then we took the density for air, which is one point. 225 kilograms per meter square, meter cubed, sorry. Now the weight for Grandpa Joe would have been about 160 pounds, or 72.6 kilograms. So we need to take the volume of that, which would equal the mass of Joe over the density of air, which would give us 72.6 kilograms over 1.225 kilograms per meter cubed, which would give us 59.3 meters cubed. Now we did the same thing for Charlie in the scene. The mass of Charlie, 80 pounds, or 36.3 kilograms. Density of air again. We plugged into the same formula and got 29.6 meters cubed for Charlie in the equation. Okay, so basically like when um, we calculated this, we went and we converted the calculations to feet. It turns out Grandpa Joe and Charlie would be over 12 and 10 feet long. Like, wide. That is impossible for that to ever happen in real life. Like, you would probably end up, like, exploding, more than likely. But, and also, like, a lot of people were saying, like, the carbonation would cause that, them to actually, like, float up in the air. Well, turns out that would be impossible because uh, carbon dioxide's constant for density is a higher than air, which means that it would actually sink. But so we've actually would try to do this experiment, to try to figure it out. And since we breathe out carbon dioxide, we can get that to go. So this balloon is filled up with carbon dioxide. This is what happens when carbon dioxide comes in contact with air. Nada. It goes down. Thus, it's not never going to happen. Let's smack it. Uh, uh, some other people say that Helium was actually the drink's carbonation, the uh, gas coming out. But we're going to prove that it's actually wrong. I know. Had the carbonation coming from the drink actually been helium, there would have been one side effect that most people haven't accounted for in that scene. The fact that Charlie, Grandpa Joe would have speaking like this the entire time for the rest of that scene. <laughs> and, and that would have basically been... A pretty fun way to watch the scene, but still, the point is it wouldn't have happened in real life. <laughs> because... 
still the point would have been they would have had it have been 10 feet wide, 12 feet wide, their regular heights with voices like that. That is why the scene is impossible. Now the physics in question in this scene is Archimedes' principle. And that, that states that any object submerged or partially submerged in a fluid is buoyed up by a force equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. And as can be seen, a human being is heavier than the weight of the, flu of the fluid, the air that they displace in the atmosphere. So therefore, the human cannot just levitate. And as stated in our calculations, both Charlie and Uncle Joe would have to be more than 12 or 10 feet in diameter in addition to their already vertical height filled with a gas lighter than air before they could even begin to be pushed up by the void force of air alone.